Today I'll show you how to set up your new 2024 Live Planner in GoodNotes. Before we get started, you'll need to make sure you have the GoodNotes app installed on your device. It's available for both iOS and Android. To make things smooth, also download Google Drive and the Shortcuts app, if you don't have them already. In this demonstration, I'll be showing different versions of the planner that are available and I'm using an iPad with GoodNotes 6. When you complete your purchase, you will receive a link to download the planner creator. Use this file to access all of your items and customize your digital planner. Here you'll be able to choose which color theme you want and if you want your planner to start on Monday or Sunday. Now that you have your planner customized, let's import it to GoodNotes. To import the planner, click on the Download Planner button and Google Drive will open. From here, you can click on the three dots in the top right corner and select Open in GoodNotes. Select Import as New Document and the planner will be added to your GoodNotes document library. To navigate, you can swipe left or right or use the hyperlinks. Hyperlinks are everywhere in the planner, but to click on them, you have to enable viewing mode. You can do this by clicking on the pencil button at the top. Hyperlinks help you get to any page in the planner with just a tap. All buttons you can see on the page are clickable as well as dates that will lead you to the daily planner page. The index contains links to all extra planning templates as well as links to your custom sections slash notebooks that you can customize. Clicking on the monthly tabs takes you to the monthly planner. In this example, I'm showing you an undated planner. Every month comes with a set of essential planning templates, so let's take a closer look at those. There's a master to-do list, monthly budget, meal plan, and workouts page. The Life Planner has four types of weekly pages. You can switch between these layouts by clicking on the buttons at the bottom of the page. There's a classic, vertical, schedule, and custom layout that you can use to design your own page in bullet journal style. In an undated planner, you can access the daily pages at the top, whereas in the dated version of this planner, you would simply click on the date in the monthly or weekly page. In GoodNotes, you can easily move pages around. The hyperlinks will stay unchanged, and you can copy and paste pages anywhere in the planner. The index is accessible from any page. Simply click on the Home button. The star button next to it is the Goal section. It has five yearly goal overviews that are connected. Now I'll do a quick flip through of the bonus templates. They are located at the end of the planner, but you can easily copy and paste them anywhere you want. For example, if I wanted to add a sleep tracker for the month, I would paste the sleep tracker template after the monthly calendar. The planner is equipped with a number of bonus templates that cover various aspects of life, helping you keep track of everything in one place. These templates cater to a wide range of needs and interests, ensuring that you can customize your planner to truly make it your own and to ensure it fits your lifestyle perfectly. Now let's get into some of the bonuses that come with this planner. This year I introduced calendar integration for iPad devices. What this means is that you can create your events and reminders without exiting the planner. You can also open the Google Calendar app. Since digital planners are PDF files, you would still have to write the information in both places. In the planner creator file, you can start the installation process by clicking on the download and install shortcut button. You can follow the instructions to set up, but if you're not using GoodNotes, make sure to select a different app at this point. The shortcut will work just the same. Now when we go to the daily planner, you'll be able to click on this button and the shortcut will start. This greatly improved my workflow because I don't have to leave my planner page to add an event in my Apple Calendar. The next thing that's included are digital stickers that give more functionality to your planner while also making your pages more aesthetic. I included cropped PNGs and if you're using GoodNotes, I included elements collection files. To import, click on the three dots next to the file. Click open and wait for the menu to load. Now click on the GoodNotes icon. Make sure you are clicking on the icon and not the option in the menu because the collection won't open for some reason. Now wait for the stickers to load and that's it. You can easily access stickers by using the elements tool. 
This year I also included more covers and icons if you want to make your planner look like an app. I'll show you how to use those now. When it comes to the covers, they come as a PDF, just like the planner. Simply import it the same way you imported the planner and choose a cover you like. Now you can copy and paste it as the first page of your planner file. If you go back to the documents library, you'll see that the cover has changed. For even more customization, let's get into the planner icons. These come as PNG image files. Choose one and save it to your gallery. Open the shortcuts app and create a new one. In the search bar, find GoodNotes and you'll see the name of your planner file. Now let's change the icon to our custom one. Click on Add to Home screen and here you'll find your custom image. When you click Add, the icon will appear on your home screen. I hope you found this video helpful. I will leave links to this planner and other resources in the description. See you next time!